Hi everyone, Zoe Tropic here, and welcome back to another to camera video. This one's going to be super short, I promise. Um, all I'm trying to do today is amplify the um, the message about tomorrow's general strike. So tomorrow being May Day, the 1st of May, 2020. Because, yeah, you're going to be watching this years from now thinking, oh my god, tomorrow! Um, who knows, maybe we can make this like an annual thing. Or better yet, maybe we can make it a monthly thing. First of every month, we kind of send a message to, you know, the people whose um, boots are on our necks all the time. The rich, the billionaires, the corporate classes, the ruling classes, the politicians that are bought by these companies. And basically send a message that actually, no, we still have the power. It doesn't look that way. And you want us to believe that we have no power and we're powerless and we just have to like somehow scrape by and die if necessary, you know, whatever capitalism demands of us. But um, at least one day a month, maybe we could say no. Um, anyway, sorry, this got political fast, didn't it? Let me explain a bit about what May Day is and specifically what's happening tomorrow. I'm not going to go into great detail because I'm going to link in the video description to lots of other YouTubers, like big YouTubers, that are actually covering this in a lot more detail and also have a lot more experience in this area. I'm just trying to kind of like support it with my tiny little YouTube channel. So this is for people who might just enjoy watching Beat Saber videos and have never thought about these things or weren't aware. Again, Google will send you results that are, um, are different from the results of the next person the person next to you because obviously it knows like the sorts of searches you do and it thinks it knows what kind of um, stories and results you want to see. So maybe you haven't encountered this information. So basically it's just another chance to make people aware of what's going on and to ask you to do something. So there's a call to action and um, I'll get to that soon. But anyway, um, the idea here is that um, May Day is an international uh, workers' rights um, celebration. It's actually called International Workers' Day. I mean, May, it has many names. I mean, there's May Day, there's Beltane, if you're like celebrating in the kind of old traditional sense where basically it's the start of summer or we're at least kind of ushering summer in. We're celebrating that we're moving away from the darkness of winter. So the 1st of May typically falls about halfway between the... Um, the uh, let's see, the vernal equinox and the summer solstice. So yeah, this is kind of like marking the start of summer. So that is, um, it's celebrated for those reasons. You sometimes see like videos of Wiccans or people just enjoying Beltane. But yeah, it's also for a very long time had this association with labor and labor rights and basically protecting the workers, really celebrating the efforts of the workers. I mean, without which the world would not operate as um, a lot of us are beginning to see. Like if you've ever doubted the importance of, you know, the people who like, you know, the nurses, the um, the, the teachers, the people who stock the shelves at the supermarket, um, garbage collectors, this sort of thing, hopefully you're beginning to see the importance of these folks now because these are the people that make the world actually continue to function. It's not bankers. Bankers do nothing of you use. Um, it's certainly not like um, most economists. These are people who kind of sit in their ivory towers and pretend that they know what the hell's going on. And yet somehow every, you know, four to seven years, we have a major crash of the entire economy. And all that happens is then they all say, gosh, we have no idea how this happened. But um, do you mind like giving us all the money that the public, you know, the workers have produced to bail us out? And then all they do is buy back their own stocks and pay their CEOs a lot of bonuses and go on doing exactly the same thing until the next crash. Because they don't care about you. So yeah, the idea of May Day is to basically kind of recognize the importance of workers um, and to try to secure a bit better rights in working conditions. Um, and t tomorrow's is actually very focused because whilst it's always has this, 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 this intent, um, what we've been seeing since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic has been that um, there are many companies that because they're making lots of profits from people needing stuff delivered to them, that all the companies that kind of have a throttle hold, that basically have a monopoly on services, uh, you know, essential goods like Amazon um, and all its subsidiaries. You think of Amazon, you don't realize that they're also Whole Foods, they're also Spotify, they're also all these other sub companies that you don't necessarily associate with them. They own all of that. So basically, if their policies towards their workers are bad in one area, it impacts like lots and lots of people. 
And so what's been happening is that um, Amazon, well, the CEOs and the, um, the billionaires and Jeff Bezos and all these other evil fucking people have decided that, you know what, um, we really like to keep profiting. We don't really care how many people die in the course of this. So we're going to force our employees to keep coming in and working in absolutely horrible conditions in packed spaces where they're probably going to be transmitting the virus to one another. And if some get sick and die, well, that's just a shame. That's the cost of capitalism. As long as we continue to make our profits, it really doesn't matter. And so they haven't been providing um, these folks with proper PPE, you know, protective clothing, and they haven't been encouraging social distancing practices. They haven't been spacing people out in the factories. I mean, to be fair, Amazon's just a horrible, horrible company, full stop. And if you can buy stuff from another company, if there's any other company that sells the stuff you need that you can get it delivered from if you need deliveries, if you're the kind of person who doesn't have access to go out to a shop to get it, then I beg you, please stop buying from Amazon because not only is Jeff Bezos like a heart, I mean, there are no ethical billionaires, but he's particularly terrible. But yeah, um, he cares nothing for his workers and the way Amazon employees have been treated like for years and years now has been horrible. I mean, if you haven't seen the stories about being Amazon employees basically not being even given toilet breaks, and so they have to pee into cups while they're standing at their stations packaging things up to send to you because we're all consumers. Yeah, it's something that um, if you can just give your business to another company, almost any company is going to be more ethical than Amazon. And let's face it, that's not saying much because most large corporations aren't terribly ethical. But that's a something for another video. I promise to keep this short. So, what is my call to action for you tomorrow? Well, I'm not expecting you to strike along with the workers. I mean, if you can, if you're organized, if you've already kind of like had discussions with other people at your place of employment, and maybe you can actually, you know, if you're not in a union, you should really join a union because it's the only way that employees have any power against the, their corporate masters. But even if you're not doing any kind of strike action or not doing a slowdown action, which is another option, or you know, work to code, which is basically to say, okay, yeah, I have a contract and I'm supposed to do these things. I'm going to do exactly and only those things precisely according to the rules and nothing more. Don't ask me to like, you know, kind of pitch and why don't you stay a bit later and help us get through this. It's like, no, because you're not actually paying me any extra for that, but you're happy to take the profits of my productivity for staying late or coming in early and just pocket them or send them up the line to, you know, the board of directors. So yeah, um, even if you're not willing to do any of those sorts of things to support tomorrow's strike action, one thing you can do and the thing I'm asking you to do, those of you watching this video, is just not buy anything. Make no purchases tomorrow. So for the entirety of the 1st of May, don't buy anything online. Don't order any new services. Don't go to the shops and buy anything. For one day, what we're trying to do is send a message that not only do the workers have power, and it's the workers that keep everything going on. When these assholes, like politicians, and I'm not going to name them because I'm sure you can think of their names immediately, tell us that, oh, we have to get the economy back on its feet, and the economy is so important. The economy only exists to serve the, the populace, but what they want is to siphon all the profits up, up the line to them. So these people, the economy, we don't need the economy to be jump-started for you. We need, they need the, the economy jump-started for them because they're worried about their stock prices. None of this affects the average person because the average person, I mean, maybe you have like a pension if you're super lucky and, um, and that pension fund has invested in some mutual funds and so the stocks are indexed, in which case that affects you to a certain extent, but not nearly to the extent that the people who actually, the ruling classes that basically control us and suppress us this whole time and make us work like dogs just to make them even more profits and feather their nests. Um, they're the ones who are seriously most affected by stock drops. So they're like absolutely pissing themselves right now because the stock market has fallen and they're desperate to send as many people back into work as quickly as possible because that way can boost that back up for them. And they really don't care how many of you die in the process. So what you can do is send a message that not only are workers important, but consumers have power too. And forget boycotting companies if you don't want to do boycotts. Um, they're not always effective. Sometimes at least they get them the PR side and like these companies to consider how they've done things, maybe try to spin their actions a bit differently so they can be useful. But just don't buy anything. Opt out of being a consumer tomorrow on the 1st of May. And what this does is sends a message that, hey, we can turn off this tap at any time. Like literally, you rely upon us 
And if we want to, we can shut all this down. And that's the thing that we're trying to send this message because without that, without the realization in the minds of the ruling elites, and when I say elites, it's not because they're actually better people or more productive or better entrepreneurs. None of these people actually create jobs. That's a lie. So when they say, I've created 10,000 jobs, it's like, no, you forced 10,000 people to work for you so you can extract profit from their labor. It's not the same thing at all. Um, so none of these people actually are elites, but they are the ones who seem to hold the reins of power partially because in many countries it's been, legislation's been passed to make sure that it's legal for them to spend as much money lobbying politicians as they want. So basically they can just buy um, legislation that's favorable towards corporations and that's very disfavorable towards the actual people, you know, that the politicians are supposed to be representing, but never do. So yeah, this is my message. Um, and I know you're thinking, wow, so I didn't realize you're so political. It's like I am. But unfortunately, I just haven't got off my ass to, to like take action. And in the wake of this pandemic and seeing how it's impacting people, I feel that I need to step up and take this more seriously. So you're going to see more of these sorts of videos where I talk about politics and philosophy. I meant to do this earlier and I just have never got around to it, but I think it's finally time for me to take it seriously. So um, over the course of May, we'll have a few more videos and we can start talking about it. Feel free to leave me comments. That's the whole point of this. It should be a discussion. But, um, and if it's just like, I hate you, you're a stupid commie, then just piss off. Hey, hey, you obviously know nothing about the subject. But, you know, if you want a discussion, if you want to talk about points, that's cool. We can do that. But for today, all this video is doing is saying, please, don't, I know I've called this video May Day on May Day, but um, it's not helping me, May Day. Um, it's basically helping all of you helping your fellow human beings, helping like the 99% or what's becoming more like the 99.9% .9 of, the, of the human race that basically is being screwed by the remaining 1% or 0.1%. So if we can send a message, and we might have to do this quite a few times, this is just the start, but if we can send a message that the way things have been before the pandemic kind of shuttered things down, wasn't sustainable anyway, and we knew this, and we recognized this by all these crashes and all these bailouts, all of our money basically being taken, trillions of money, of pounds or dollars if you're in the US or in whichever country you are, just suddenly magically appears to help out like airlines and bankers and, you know, investment firms, all these rich bastards that basically get all of our money every time, every four to seven years when we have one of these major economic crashes, these recessions, all of our money just gets handed to them in a block. Here, have several trillion dollars. It's, we can make this happen. But all the rest of the time, your politicians who are supposed to be representing you and fighting for you because we voted for them, not that democracy is really that functional, a topic for another video. But yeah, um, the rest of the time they're like, oh gosh, social services, oh, healthcare, oh, workers' rights, oh, environmental protection. No, that's so expensive. We have no idea where we'd get the money for that. So sorry, we'd really love to, but you you know how it is. It's like, but yeah, the moment like that we've been screwed by the wealthy elites and they've trashed the economy again through capitalism, trillions of dollars manifest magically to hand them. And of course, very little comes back to us. So. Please, you can do one simple thing tomorrow. Just don't buy anything. Literally don't buy anything. Don't order anything new. Wait a day. I know if you're desperate, I know you really, really wanted that thing. Just wait till the 2nd of May, for God's sake. It's really not hard. Hopefully you have enough groceries in the house. If not, go out today if you go out or just get some food in. I mean, hopefully none of us are like, oh my God, I don't have any food for tomorrow. I have to like buy something on the 1st of May. It's like, Hopefully you're not living like literally with only like eight hours of food in your fridge at any time, but whatever, just don't make any purchases on the 1st of May. This helps the workers. They're going through a lot, but trust me, they're under heavy pressure by these corporations, which have all of our money because they've stolen all of our money from us. So they have the lawyers, they've been firing people. They've been firing people for even suggesting that the working conditions are bad. So Amazon's done a lot of this and then pretended that, oh, it wasn't because of that. It's because they're just not, they're just not as productive as our other workers, which is bullshit. So this is the main thing. It's just like, this is the easiest thing you can do. This is like the, the dead bottom line. Like if you do nothing else, just don't buy anything tomorrow. And that helps support them. If you actually would like to support them more substantially, yeah, there are boycott actions. There's work slow. There's work to work to code. Um, you could do a strike, organize it in your workplace. Trust me, this is not going to be the last general strike we see over the course of the COVID-19 pandemic because what's become quite clear to the whole world is just... Um, 
well, just how nonsensical late stage capitalism is and how unsustainable it is. And the fact that it's going to crash, totally unprepared to protect the people. It only protects the wealthy. So that's why none of these, like, there are no respirators, there are no ICU beds, there are none of these facilities. It's because it's not profitable to keep this, this gear up and running and ready for when these pandemics hit. And let's face it, this isn't the first pandemic in our lifetime. There's been Ebola, there's been SARS, and then MRSA. This is going to keep happening. And if we let them go back to normal, if we let the ruling classes basically you know, lull us into a sense of, oh, it's gonna be okay, everything's gonna go back to normal. We don't want to go back to normal because what normal was was horrible. Normal is horrible for like the vast majority of the human population just because maybe some of us, like I'm white, so I benefit from white privilege, but just because some of us have it a little easier and maybe are comfortable or, you know, we consider ourselves middle class when Let's be honest, uh, most of us are actually working class. If you look at our wages compared to the, the progression of wages up until about the 1970s, our wages have not substantially increased, and yet the profits of the people at the very top, the 1% and 0.1%, have vastly, vastly, vastly increased, and their holdings and their ability to influence us, whereas our ability to control our own lives has not increased at all. So you may consider yourself middle class, but trust me, that's not how the rulings view you. You're just peasants to them. So we need to prevent things from going back to normal. We need to try to work towards a better world. And the only way that's going to happen is to take these opportunities to basically push, give little pushes. And if they don't work, we're going to move to bigger pushes. And if necessary, to revolution, um, peaceful or otherwise, it's going to have to happen um, to change their minds because they're not going to give us any rights, um, any civil liberties. They're not going to recognize that um, out of the goodness of their hearts because they've shown themselves to be sociopaths. So these people do not care about you. Billionaires do not care about you. The politicians that they've bought through their corporation, corporate lobbyists do not care about you. They think it's a big joke. They just love the fact that they actually have control. And mainly their main concern at this point is, gosh, we're not making as much money as we would be and our stocks are really crashing. We need to get these people back to work and you know, sod them if they die in the process because that's good. The more of them that die, the less of them can protest against the bad way we're treating them, but convince them they need, they need to get back into the workplaces. So what we're trying to do here is establish that, no, we're only gonna go back to work if there's proper protections in place and there's a proper working conditions so that people are being worked like dogs to produce profits for you while they're having to work two or three jobs just to pay their rent and get food on the table for their families. So yes, um, for like the third or fourth or fifth time, I will, I will end by saying, don't buy anything tomorrow, please do it for me. If you like my videos, it's not like anybody, I don't make any money from this channel. So it's like, if you would have ever bought me a coffee for doing the Beat Saber videos that I do, if I've entertained you at all, take the money <laughs> that, you know, the purchases you would make tomorrow, don't make them. Just like keep the money. You're not even sending it to me. It's you're keeping it for you. Just don't be a consumer. And that way you're actually showing a bit of solidarity with the workers who are striking. Right. I rambled on enough. Um, like I said, I will make more videos over the course of May where we can talk a bit more about politics and why this is a critical time in human history. We have an option now to make things go better. And if we don't start taking steps to do that, um, forget how bleak it's going to be for us for the next few decades. Human civilization itself might not have more than a few centuries left in it if we don't steer off of this path now. So enough of that. I don't want to be alarmist, but yeah, call to action. Don't buy anything tomorrow on May Day, okay? Okay, and again, there's gonna be more links in the, um, the video description. So if you want to find out more about this from people who know a lot more about it than I do, then um, yeah, go follow the links, watch those videos, subscribe to their channels. I mean, if this is the first time you've been to my channel, I'd love it if you'd give this video a like and subscribe because like I said, there's gonna be more of this. And also there's always all the Beat Saber videos to keep you entertained. But um. But yeah, definitely go to these other people because they've been activists a lot longer than I have. And um, it would really help if you could amplify their message as well. Right. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. Have a nice day. Don't buy anything tomorrow. And I will see you in future videos. Okay, bye-bye. Well, wasn't that fun? If you agree, there's a few things you can do, like click the like button or leave me some feedback as a comment or subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. All of these things help.
And if you'd like to move beyond that and support the channel and the videos I do in a more substantive fashion, I've listed a number of sort of donation options here on this final slide. Right, I think that's about it, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in future videos. Take care.